York Rocks! What's up everybody? It's Phil from New York Rocks. Stay tuned, you're watching New York Rocks, baby. Who rocks better than us? Nobody rocks like New York Rocks. We rock the best. How you doing, everybody? It's Phil from New York Rocks, and we're rocking down here at Umberto's Clam House here in the heart of Little Italy and NYC here with New York Rocks. We got a great show here tonight. We're going to go inside right now, and you're going to listen to New York Rocks Radio. This New York Rocks is radio now. Just go check it out. Watching New York Rocks. Who rocks better than us? Nobody rocks like New York Rocks. We rock the best. Okay, we're back on New York Rocks. Rocking here at Umberto's Clam House on 132 Mulberry Street, right here in the heart of Little Italy. We're here with Erin uh, Feely Moss. How you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Which you got the name Feely, so I'm feeling pretty good. Excellent. Okay, now talk about yourself. Where are you from, uh, hon? Where are you from? Um, I grew up in Virginia. My family's from Pennsylvania. I live in Staten Island now, okay. half for the last nine years, so that's pretty much home. Cool. All right. Now, uh, you recently got involved with Gary Ciani, and the Gary Ciani, he's had his little project going on. Exactly. And um, actually, Kevin. Kevin uh, Kevin just, Johnson yeah, yeah, he, is a mutual friend of right. Gary and mine. And, he's here, uh, but we only can fit one in, in at a time. Yes. And Gary's running a little late, he but is. hopefully he'll be here. Yes. Right? Allegedly okay. on his way. So. Now, you met Kevin, right? And, Kev uh, yeah. Kevin right. and I uh, live in the same neighborhood in Staten Island, okay. St. George. And so Kevin uh, discovered you. Well, uh, yes, yeah, so to speak. I mean, we both play uh, right. play at the same local local bar, Steinies right, right. Pub. So yeah. um, we I don't know if it was an open mic or if I was playing an actual gig there with another friend of mine. Right, but right. he heard me sing one night, and um, I'd heard his stuff. He runs the karaoke there. So mm -hmm. uh, we, you know, I'd talked about doing something for a while, and we finally right. got it together. And he introduced me to Gary, and the whole thing kind of grew from That's there. Nice. I mean, it just started out as a couple of people that'd like to get together and play some music, and then. It Started sounding good, so we said, "Hey, why not try to take it somewhere?" So. Well, you sound pretty good because actually, I seen, I heard you sing at uh, right. Gary's and did a little rehearsal there, That's and right. um, you sing wonderful. Oh, and thanks, I was bro. like, "Wow, this girl's a really good singer. Thank she's you. she's gonna be a big star one day, I don't know and hopefully." That. Hey, you know, you never know, you know. We'll see what happens. That's good, though. You're home. Now, you've been singing, though. How long have you been singing? I don't know how long, but... Uh, since I could talk, pretty much. I yeah. mean, I was one of those car seat singing yeah, babies, yeah, yeah. so it's yeah. been... I mean, I did a lot of musical theater growing mm -hmm. up. Uh, never really sang in a band until after college, but mm -hmm. uh, I've done a couple little projects. I sang backup vocals for mm -hmm. a friend of mine that's a rapper, and... Wow. Uh, yeah, so I mean, a couple little things like that. Like I said, playing with other musician friends mm -hmm. and uh, not not mm -hmm. too many gigs, but a lot of open mics and a lot mm -hmm. of just jam sessions. Man, we just like to jam. So you were shooting the breeze at the house, you know, we were rehearsing at the house. Uh oh, what's at coming Gary's up? House. I don't know. I don't know what you're gonna. I I want you to do sing for me a little bit. I don't know. We don't have the guitar here, but like, uh, give them a little sample of a little bit of song, for you know. For the audience out there listening in, you know, some of the like acapella, something that. Uh, what 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 do you like to sing the best? What is your favorite song to sing? Like, you well, know, I'm when a, you're just singing. I'm a fan of uh, of throaty rock covers, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that that's always a good time. Um, okay. I have a I have a bluesy. Mm -hmm. Bluesy background too. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. mean, any anything like that is always fun for me. I heard I heard you sing Janis Joplin. I was like, wow, how strong is that? Yeah, that's like, that's really always cool. a fun one to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bobby McGee is a yeah, good one. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a well, fun one we'll to see do. which one you would like. You know, it doesn't have to be what I have. It's yeah. your choice. You know, you're you're the musician and I'm the producer. <laughs> so, All right. No, it's, uh, it's up to you. You know. Well, um, um, we do a we do a credence cover with with sure. the guys. I wish they could yeah, uh, yeah, squeeze yeah. up here with me, but. Yeah, yeah. Um, I figure since it's raining, have you right. ever seen the rain? Do a little bit of that. Go ahead. Well, I've seen a lot of rain lately, but <laughs> I haven't heard the rain. Well, I hear it a little bit, but not from the song. Go ahead. But go ahead. All right. Someone told me long ago there's a calm before the storm. I know it's been coming for some time. When it's over, so they say, it'll rain a sunny day. And I know, shining down like water. And I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? 
coming down on a sunny day. There you go. Hey, y'all. Well, you Little know, that was yeah, really thanks. good. See, Thank you. See, when you know when somebody can sing really good, they don't they don't need anything else behind. They don't need the music. Well, I don't, I'm sure I don't. And enjoy it just the same. Well, you know? thank you. Yeah. I'm sure I don't do it justice. It's better with the guys, but. <laughs> That's good, man. Yeah. You rocked it out. Thank That's you, all sir. Thank That's you. Thanks. Okay. Now, um, your name. Where did you get this name? Was it Aaron Feely Moss? Feely Moss. Feely it's, Moss. um, okay. yeah, my, my mother was not too keen on the idea of, of giving her name up at marriage. So okay. she's the Feely, my dad's the Moss, okay. and, uh, they, just, together. they decided to give me both of them, which I'm is, grateful for. So. Is there music in your family? Is Absolutely. That's what I wanted to bring out. Absolutely. Music in your family. Absolutely. Yeah, um, a yeah. couple of, couple of class A singers on, uh, on my mom's side, back in the line. My great grandmother was a really good singer. Right, um, right. and on my dad's side, actually, a, a lot of music. We we do a lot of uh, like skits and sing-alongs at family function, and my dad is actually a pretty badass harmonica player. Ooh, I don't oh, yeah. know if I could say that, but you could say that. That yeah, isn't bad. he's uh, yeah, he's a pretty dope harmonica yeah. player. So he uh, he kind of started. Yeah. Actually, it's a cute story. My dad's one of nine kids, and uh, yeah. growing up, you can imagine they didn't do a lot of like one-on-one time nursery rhymes and that right, kind right. of thing. So consequently, when he had me. He didn't know too many, so when he would have to sing me to sleep at night, it was always rock songs and blues songs and stuff harmonica? like that. He the and he would play the harmonica sometimes, yeah. but I just kind of got that rock and fusion early yeah. on and uh, just became a big part of my life. That's a really cool story. Yeah. 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 So that's how the music got into you. Definitely. I mean, way before that, too, he was the dad with the headphones on my mom's pregnant belly. So, I mean, in utero, I was, yeah. I was jamming. You still, your dad's still around? Absolutely, oh, yeah. Cool. He uh, he played la- he played harmonica last night with a local oh, yeah? band out in Pennsylvania. Well, I gotta get him over here. Yeah, I, sh- I should, right? I should. <laughs> I should invite him out. Pops, that's an open invitation. You come, come, down, come on down. You sing and then he plays harmonica. Yeah, right? we have we have a good time. We can have a duo over here. Yeah. Uh, that's really cool. Yeah. Okay, now now you got some songs you're gonna be singing for Gary Siani. Right. Uh, talk about the songs. Uh, have you learned the songs yet, and you, you're in the studio practicing them? We we are, yeah. Right. We're doing Talk we're doing a, a lot of rehearsals actually, twice and three times a week rehearsals, really right. trying to get something to take off. Um, we're working on a lot of covers just for when we play things, but his original stuff is what I'm really excited about. We're working on we're focusing on two right now. Right, right. One's one? called She's a Lady, yes, and the other is called Let It Fade. Yeah, um, and very good songs. they're very good songs. I was really impressed um, when I heard them, and he gave me a copy of the CD. I've been right. playing. And them nonstop, and um, we're playing around with the arrangements a little bit. I think we're gonna take them in uh, in two very different directions. I okay. hear uh, I hear she's a lady more as like a ballad, right. um, and let it fade. I think we're gonna punch up a little bit and uh, give give at least the chorus a, a little bit of a, a rock rock and roll soul. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we'll we'll Something see what different. happens. Yeah, it'll definitely be an adventure. Yeah, we're yeah, having yeah. fun with it so far, so it'll be fun to see where it goes. Okay, how about your own music? Have you ever worked on any pieces for yourself, or are you gonna be working? On any to tell you song? the to tell you the truth, uh, up till now right. it's been almost all covers. Um, like I said, when I recorded with my one friend who's a rapper, I, d- mm-hmm. I wrote a hook for him, but that was my only original until a few months ago when I started um, laying some stuff down with another okay. guitar friend of mine. So okay. just taking off there, but a couple, a couple, we're okay. we're getting there. Okay. Yeah. Why, why don't we Why don't we bring Kevin in here? We'll be all right. Sit up right in here. Okay. Pull up a little bit in. Okay. Yep. All right. How you doing, Kevin? What's New up, York Phil? rocks here. Hey, hey, hey. You're on. You're good on the big, good, the big time now. Good, good to see here. you, Phil. Yeah. yeah. I see you got the guitar with you. I brought nice. my... Carlos Robelli, right? I brought my axe just in case. A nice Italian uh, maker of guitar where, you know, we're in Little Italy, New York, you know? Yes, sir. Uh, Italian guitar. Well, you're not Italian. <laughs> no. That's all right. But I you're Italian today. I can't even pass. <laughs> That's all right. Hey, I'm dark skin Italian. I'm from Calabria. And uh, Sicilian, Sicilian and Calabrian. Ooh. I'm a mix. Oh, okay. We got a dark side and a light side. Mm. Yeah. Back from that Roman. Yeah. From I that heard room. I'm, I'm dark from the waist down, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. From the waist down? <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell everybody, Kevin, where you're from and uh, talk a little bit about your set. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, I grew up, I'm a Delaware guy, right? Uh, I grew up in Delaware. All right. And the state capital, which is Dover. Mm-hmm. Dover. Right. Came to New York in the early 80s, off and on, uh, back and forth between here and Delaware. Yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. uh, in the 90s, I did some of the Florida thing. I lived in Florida, Miami Beach, all, all right. like that. Anyway, I started playing guitar. Uh, 
Right. Just yeah. yeah, not that long ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, it hasn't been that long. Yeah, yeah. Um, I always loved music. Talk uh, like guitar. It's not an easy instrument just to like pick up unless you like you got it. You know. I well, mean, even Elvis really didn't play much guitar, but he had the voice. You know. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, the, he had all the charisma and the drive and everything else. You know. Yeah. Go ahead. I got um 12 years harmonica experience. Oh, okay. So I've actually been playing harmonica longer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, I'm not doing bad for for where I'm at. The amount of time that I have with the guitar, you know, sure. um, um, I don't play like uh, like your blues boy there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not quite there yet, but I don't, I don't do too bad yeah. you know, for for, right. for the level so that I'm on. Maybe we'll, we'll we'll play a little bit, and maybe she could sing a little bit, and we could do like a little thing. Or, I don't know, you know. We gotta put it together, something maybe, yeah. Yeah. What do you um, got there? What, do you, what can you play for me? Play well, a little bit. I have something that that uh, by the band uh, uh, America, um, right. which America had a lot of a lot of different hits. Mm -hmm. uh, they had the horse with no name, right? They had the horse with no name. I don't do that one, but I do Sister Golden Hair. Okay. All right. um, yeah. I'm just gonna get myself a little space with this. You want you me to give You me don't need the, the headset. You can take that off. Okay. Unless you want to hear it. All right. Put this on. Okay. I'm gonna swing this around. Oh, we're waiting for Gary, actually, but we got Kevin here. Kevin, what's your last name? Johnson. Johnson. Kevin Johnson, and you're living right now. You're living in Staten Island, New York, right? Correct. Staten Island, New York. There you go. All right. Is this gonna be okay? Loud enough? Be able to pick yeah, it up? Yeah, it should be all right. We got a mic right here. Play a little bit. Now, what's this you gonna play for us? Uh, uh this is Sister Golden oh, here. Okay. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. And sing. I don't know if I could sing. <laughs> she <laughs> could sing though. She'll sing. She's. You're she seeing where she can right come right up at. Yeah, yeah. We'll sing together. We'll try to harmonize. We can sing together. All right, we got both. All right, here you go. Try to make it Sunday, but I got so damn depressed that I set my sights on Monday and I got myself undressed. I'm not ready for the altar, but I do realize there are times when a woman sure can be a friend of mine. Well, I keep on thinking about you, Sister Golden Hair Surprise. And I just can't live without you, can't you see it in my eyes? I've been one poor correspondent, I've been too, too hard to find. But it doesn't mean you ain't been on my mind. Will you meet me in the middle? Will you meet me in the end? Will you love me just a little? Just enough to show you can. Well, I try to make it. I don't mind saying I just can't make it. Well, I keep on thinking about you, Sister Golden Hair Surprise. And I just can't live without you, can't you see it in my eyes? I've been one poor correspondent, I've been too, too hard to find. But it doesn't mean you ain't been on my mind. Over here, you know. <laughs>
It's a little tight, you know, but you did a marvelous job. Well, thank you, sir. Oh, thank you very much for coming on and filling up the time. You and Aaron are wonderful musicians with a wonderful future. The head of you both. And um, I wanted to tell everybody out there how they can find out about the Gary Ciani project that's going on in yourself. Also, you do voiceovers. You can mention that a little bit. We're only down to two minutes left. Yeah. And uh, go ahead. Uh, voiceover artist here, uh, I, looking for work, looking to do commercials. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I, I'm on audioboo.com. You can find me under my name, Kevin Johnson. If you got mm -hmm. any work, I could do uh, audio books as right. well as commercials, on air, radio, or TV. Right. And I'm in Staten Island. I'm in the St. George area. Uh, I also work at Steiny's uh, Pub. I do karaoke over there on Thursday nights, regular. Sometimes I'm there on Thursdays or Fridays. Right. Three Hyatt Place in downtown St. George, Staten Island, New York. So if you ever want to come out for karaoke, uh, Aaron knows where it is. She's been there. Aaron, tell everybody how they can get in touch with you, too. You're on Facebook and find out more about you. I am. I am on Facebook. I don't have a, uh, a fan page yet. Right, I'm right. starting probably getting... Getting to one of these guys' pages okay. is best for me, but and I played Gary's a, information too. Maybe we should bring that up too. I know Gary Ciani. You can you can get Gary Ciani at uh, Reverb Nation. Right, right. And Gary um, Ciani. I think that he has another one. Ciani is C I A N I. Yes. Right. C I A N I. Gary Ciani on Facebook. I uh, have a couple of songs. And on Reverb Nation. And Reverb Nation also. And I believe, catch him. I believe you too. He's playing with you right? guys, right? Or maybe not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, if he's, he's, he's all has. over the place. If okay. you Google him, he'll come up. All right. I want to thank you very much, everybody. Watch your New York rock.